beginning of my career doing a community-based mediation in actually uh, in the Washington DC area uh, I had a situation that was referred to me in, in mediation court and next situation uh, where the parties uh, an individual shop owner who was Asian had uh, had an individual arrested who was a regular in the store it was a small convenience store and the individual happened to be Hispanic uh, and I, the only reason I share their background is I do believe it was cultural based. Um, the individual uh, who was the shopper in the store uh, had come there for over five years on a regular basis, almost every day after work, five days a week. Uh, the Asian shop owner basically saw this individual, but it did not acknowledge him with eye contact. In the process uh, of the discussion, the, the shop owner had basically called the police and filed shoplifting charges against the individual who had taken something and walked out of the store. In separate sessions in the mediated process, I, got, I had the Hispanic individual uh, share that he felt he, he was shopping there daily and, and the shop owner wouldn't even acknowledge him or say hello. The Asian explained to him in a joint session that if he looked him in the eye, he had to take him in because in his own cultural background, eye contact was synonymous with you're part of my family. And that explanation built a new relationship and to this day the two of them actually get together on a regular basis. Uh, I've been receiving holiday cards and been invited to tea with them uh, on a regular basis as well. And they have a relationship today that's totally different. But it was that discussion and truly the sharing of information that helped the two of them overcome it.